Hello and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea Species Spotlight Series. This week I'm going to be talking about the graceful decorated crab, Oregonia gracilis. The term decorator crab covers several species of crabs. Today I'm going to be talking about one of these species, the graceful decorator crab. Decorator crabs belong to the superfamily Majoidae, however not all of these are decorators. Decorator crabs use materials from their environment to cover themselves in through a form of camouflage known as self-decoration. For more on camouflage and mimicry in the ocean, check out the above link or the link in the description. Juveniles and adult females decorate heavily, whereas adult males are sparse in their decoration. They decorate themselves by sticking sedentary animals and plants to their bodies to ward off predators. Sometimes the creatures they stick to themselves are poisonous. This is a form of apisemitism. The relationship of crabs and organisms such as sea anemones used as decoration may be mutualistic, offering protection to the crab and food to the anemone. The crabs attach the organisms using setae, which are stiff structures resembling a hair or a bristle. This sort of works like Velcro and provides visual and chemical camouflage to reduce their predation risk from things such as sea otters, Pacific halibut and octopuses. The graceful decorator crab lives in the intertidal zone. Check out my previous video on what the intertidal zone is. The link is in the description. So they live in the intertidal zone, which up to 436 metres in depth. Their range extends through the North Pacific coast, the Bering Sea and Japan. They mainly eat floating kelp and algae. Crabs are decapods, meaning they have 10 legs. Some of these are walking legs, some are used for feeding, as well as some being used for defence and decoration. The life of the decorator crab is a solitary one, only looking for a mate when it is mating season. This is done via chemical cues. During mating, the male uses the first and second abdominal appendages to transfer spermatophores to the female. She then uses these to fertilise her eggs, which she will carry on her sea tie. Oregonia gracilis has not yet been evaluated for the IUCN red list. If you would like to learn what the IUCN red list is, check the link in the description or above. I hope you enjoyed this little insight into decorated crabs and learnt something new. If you did, don't forget to like, comment down below, and if you aren't already, please consider subscribing to the channel to support more videos like this one. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers!